Hey, what's up, guys? Scam Thief here, and welcome to this Inform Olivier Giroud review. Now, guys, I've been waiting for an Inform Giroud for ages. It's worth the wait, and you will see why. 85 shooting, his finishing is awesome. Look at the goals to game ratio. I tweeted this out. People thought I was playing off our matches, like jerking about, saying bronze teams and stuff like that. Nope. You can see from the matches, the clips, that he is just an absolutely ridiculous finisher. I mean, at first, I thought he was right footed and he just wasn't fitting into my play. Um, I thought he was right-footed because of his finishing. He was finishing with his right foot ridiculously well. Freestyle weak foot feels like a lie, to be honest. But, um, yeah, you know I'm honest with these Arsenal reviews. You know I'm an Arsenal fan. But I'm very honest with these reviews. I said Ozil was poor, said Bentley was shit, which they were for me. But Giroud was just incredible. It's that 85 shooting. It's just ridiculous. He finishes so well. And, uh, yeah, we'll talk about that more uh, when we get into the clips. But first, I want to say, guys... 100k for this guy is a big price tag, but I'm not going to sell him because I wish he finished like this in real life. Because if he did, he'd be on like, I don't know, his fifth in form. Because he just finishes nearly everything, which in FIFA is ridiculous. And obviously the main issue that you're going to spot with him is his 66 pace. And I'm sure that'll be a major worry if you're thinking about buying this guy. Don't worry about it. Just get some quick wingers. I had Walker and Lamar just sort of start. Get some good wingers to play, play him through and he will score for you. I don't feel you, you need them because I think his attacking position is good enough. But um, it will certainly help because he's six foot four, and if you're a sweaty bitch, you can just cross this guy, and he will score headers and volleys. Trust me. But um, yeah, onto that. Finishing wise, is just absolutely ridiculous. One touch, two touch, whatever. He'll finish with his feet and his head, which is just awesome. Heading wise, brilliant again. Um, from corners, he was just ridiculous. He always managed to like hit the bar though, like on the post, and you'll see that in a few more clips. He'll hit the bar and he'll get the rebounds. He's just he's just always there. And his finishing is just so, so clinical, which is just awesome. Another question I know I'm going to get is, can I play him at centre forward? Yeah, I feel he could. He's got a decent pass on him. I wish i put some more assists in here, but I just wanted to show off his finishing so much. Look at that. Um, but uh, yeah, his passing is pretty decent, to be honest. He did set up two goals, which are pretty nice. But I was shooting a lot with him, and I, I wasn't really passing. just because he's He was just so clinical that I didn't want to pass with him. I just wanted to shoot with him all the time. That I'd just hang around the box and just try and get the shot away. And when I did, 9 times out of 10, it was going in the back of the net. Because he is so damn clinical. Pace wise, I want to talk about this again because his positioning is brilliant. Um, he is slow getting there, but he'll get there and he will get into the right position and he will finish. Just wish he was like that in real life. I really, really do because he's just awesome. You'll see there's a ball from Lamar coming up soon where he just takes it on the volley and it's just a great goal just because he's slow but he got into the right position, which is just brilliant. If you can hold up play with your wingers, you don't have to hold up for that long, trust me. Um, if you can just hold up for a little bit, he'll get into that position and he will score with his head, volley feet, whatever, he will score with his arm, whatever, <laughs> he'll put it in the net because he's just such a clinical finisher and that is the main thing that you're going to have to take from this review, he is a clinical uh, finisher, if you get him in the positions, this is the one I'm talking about, makes the perfect run, puts it in the back of the net, through the keeper, he's not stopping it because that left foot is deadly on this guy, which I hate slow strikers, but this guy I just enjoyed so, so much, look at this, pushing off Pepe and finishes, just ridiculous, I enjoyed reviewing this guy so much that I'm not going to sell him. Because he, he just really, really was that good to review. Overall, guys, I'd give him an 8 out of 10. He would be a 10 if he was faster. I mean, I'm a pace hot, what can I say? But, uh, yeah, overall, a brilliant finisher. And I highly recommend you try get this guy out. And if you do, let me know how you get over in the comments below. I do advise some fast wingers because, as I say, he's not the fastest player. But, um, yeah, if you, if you can handle the pace of Greece, you may not need him. But, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Remember, check out Scout for Reviews and links below uh, for the rest of the team with reviews. And, uh, adios.